after this one. Hopefully. We had major, major cop attack. There was like cat hair floating everywhere. Everywhere. And I already had a sore throat like for the last two weeks almost. So yeah, any little thing getting in the throat, no bueno. So let's uh, try this again. If you're just joining me, <clears throat> you didn't hear my cough attack. So check out the video before this one. It'll be the first five minutes of it, okay? All right. Oh, hi, Joss. How are you? Did you see the beginning of, of the video a few minutes ago? Should I redo the whole thing? I hope not. Just, you know, check it out. Um, we're continuing with the Haley's Beauty review. And uh, now that I can talk again, uh, we're going to get into the Rewind, which is the concealer. And this is a uh, shade. I was about to say the shade. And let's see. Stupid cat hair had to get in my throat and ruin the whole goddamn video. Um, this is called Light Neutral. That's what we got right here. So again, <clears throat> just check out the video right before this one. It's like five minutes of the intro of what we're doing for Haley's Beauty. Okay, all right. Now, this has a nice little silver cap on it right here. Hi, Nelly, how are you? And we're going to go ahead and try for the second time to put this right on the eye because it has gotten some very good reviews. And it's supposed to be nice and cooling for under the eye area. And we're going to find out. It is cool. I'll tell you that right now. It is pretty cool. I'll put a little bit right here. Yeah, right here. And let's do a little dollop right here. And let's try a little bit down here. Okay. And we already have some lipstick on, so let's not mess that up. But it does feel very, very cold. So that should really help depuff under here, like especially in the morning time. You know, not 12, not 12 morning, but you know, regular morning when you wake up like normal people do. So it should be nice because it's super duper cool right there. I'm just kind of giving my little eyeballs a rest because they turned red from all the coughing I was doing for five whole minutes. I was crying and everything. Thank goodness you didn't see it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and uh, tap this out with their nice sponge right here. Again, I have not used this, but it does feel light as air. It's super duper light uh, with a very velvety velvety texture everything to me is velvety just this is another velvety one so let's just tap this out and again everyone raves about this brand Haley's let me know if you guys have tried Haley's <clears throat> I'm usually the the last on the train you know everyone's already tried everything and cat's barely reviewing it like always <clears throat> I feel like another cough attack coming. Lord help me because I need to get through this video and not do all this makeup for nothing. What I have on my eyes, you guys, just in case you're wondering, is the Vive palette, the Vive Essentials by Jamie Genevieve and a little bit of About Face, the uh, Halsey brand. So that did, that did blend out pretty nice. It does feel nice. It feels creamy. It doesn't feel over heavy. <clears throat> Let's see, in a mirror, do we have a mirror? We have a mirror right here. Look in the mirror over here. What I don't like is I don't like drying concealers. It's not my vibe. No, not my latte. Don't give me a drying concealer because it's gonna make me look like a cracked face. And I don't wanna look like a statue. Look like I have skin. Well, I still can. But I do like it. So if you take a look, you guys, it looks nice and nice and dewy. Like a dewy look, but not, not sweaty. Just nice and dewy, which is the kind of look that I'm going for. So, so far, it gets an A in my book for now. Just now, okay? Because you have to actually wear it for a while and see if it creases and what it does later. But right now, we're going to give it an A+. Plus. All right, moving on. That was the Rewind Concealer. Rewind Concealer. And again, did I tell you the shade? I think I did. The uh, Light Neutral. That's this one. I do enjoy that very cooling sensation from the uh, from the metal cap. The metal tip. It's a metal tip. It's a metal, metal tip. Not cap. Scratch that. Okay, next thing we're going to try. Make sure I got it all out. Guys, tell me if I don't get it all out. That's what you're here for. Okay, next thing we're going to try is... Since we couldn't try their foundation, <clears throat> is this retouch uh, powder right here? I feel like I can't talk my normal talk because I feel like I want to start coughing again. 
What is in this room? It's just attacking me. Particles, hair, cat fur. I don't know. So this is supposed to be a soft focus setting powder. It says so right there. So, I mean, it gives you information right on there. It's a nice little package, you know? I mean, I can, I can appreciate simple packaging. You don't have to always be crazy, you know? Has a nice little sticker on there. We're all set and, and ready to, to not go because I have to open it first. She's on there. She's on there good. <clears throat> Again, if you guys just joined me, make sure to check out the video right before this one. That is the intro to this one. Okay. All right. We got that guy off. Stick it in the box. I didn't throw it on the floor. It's amazing, right? Everything always goes on the floor. That's what it looks like right in there. We're going to flip it over. Give it a little shake. And this is supposed to be a very forgiving powder, from what I understand, from everyone's review. So I just tap a little bit into the cap. A little bit more. And we're gonna use that brush that I got with it, right here, the Haley's Beauty Brush. <clears throat> on the floor. I couldn't help it. So we're just going to kind of swirl in here. Let's just look at this brush real quick. <clears throat> it's really nice. It has like a nice taper to it. it. Feels pretty soft. Can't complain yet. Let's show you. Yeah, it feels like a little little bunny cotton tail. Yeah. But no bunny should have been hurt making this. Just letting you know. So we're going to just kind of tap some in here. Do that over there so I don't start choking. And I go very slowly. Hi, Jessica. Thank you for joining. If you're just barely getting here right now, I did do an intro to this video. Then I started coughing like crazy. So I had to stop it and I started again. So you can see that one right before this one. So if you're looking at me apply this, it's it's mattifying, you know, it's mattifying the areas down that needs to mattify. I don't like mattifying my whole entire face because I just, I don't like it. I need some more water, you guys. This powder is getting in my throat. <clears throat> All right. Hi, Carrie. How are you doing? Long time no see, girly. So I can say that right now this powder feels pretty good. I don't see any super duper dryingness with it. I don't like really putting too much under the eye because I don't want to accentuate any more lines. I want them to go away. But this powder doesn't look like it's clinging to it really bad. So I don't want to go all the way around the whole entire face. Like I said, it's like gonna set right here, set right there, and kind of right down the nose. Because I don't want my nose to be shining like, you know, like a Tin Man. But I kind of like it. So it seems pretty good. That is the Rewind Powder. Or retouch, I'm sorry, retouch powder. This brush is pretty nice too. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put this back in here. And again, this says it's a soft focus. So I kind of, I could see that. It just looks like it kind of blurred. It does feel really smooth. So when you go back over and, you know, touch it with your fingertips, it feels pretty smooth. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, Haley's Beauty. You're doing all right so far. So far. Can't get ahead of ourselves because we haven't worn it for more than five seconds okay all right so the next thing we're going to try out right now is probably the last thing because yeah i don't have anything else this is a quick video it's a miracle miracles do happen and this is going to be the setting spray right here so it's the refresh ultimate priming and setting spray so you can use it before your makeup and after your makeup so i'm kind of happy with the little bit of you know mattified look i got going on again i don't like it all over the face so i'm going to stop right there before I look like a Crypt Keeper. We don't want that. But you know what we are gonna do first? We're gonna put just a little bit of some blush on, just because, why not? Why not make the video longer than it should be? That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. So we're gonna just go ahead and grab one of our little blush brushes from here. Come on out, guy. 
I'm gonna get some of this, this Georgia peach. Mm -hmm. This guy came in box charm. Might as well put it to use. Benefit does have good products though. I just wanna see how the blush is gonna go over top of that powder. It's a very light blush. This is more like a shimmery kind of, you see it in there? It's like, it's like it's shining. It's, it's a weird blush. It's, it's like a highlighter blush. Blush, highlighter blush. It, it barely gives you any color, but it's there. You see, she's there. She's saying hello. Not really a hi, just like kind of hello, like that. I mean, I guess I don't mind it. I mean, I, I prefer, I'm more, I'm more like in the cream blushes and liquid blushes right now. I'm not really a blush kind of gal to begin with, but I've been loving those creams and liquid. They, they really do stand out nice, especially Danessa Myricks. Yes, that's what the, that's what it is. It's more like a topper. Thank you, Jessica. That's what it is. It's more like a topper, just kind of to give a little a little hint of just something, and you can see it. Besides a huge huge black line that I got going on, kind of takes the cake. Yeah, you can see it. We're looking good, but it did layer nicely over that powder, so that's kind of why I'm doing it for so you guys can see how that powder works. I can't really complain as of right now, but you know, I will complain if I need to. I will. All right, so last but not least, we got that on. We're gonna go ahead and, you know what we should do too? We, we should do, we should take it up a notch real quick. Let's get a little bit of the Danessa Myricks that I was talking about. And let's just pop just, just a little, little bit right there. Just to see how that does on top of the powder. Uh-huh, yeah, we just really test it out. And then we're gonna get this guy right here and we're just gonna, we're just gonna ruin him. Well, that's what we're here for. We're here to use up the products. Well, that is not doing a great job. You know, this guy isn't meant to, to work with the Nessa Myricks, it looks like. So, plan B. Now it also can be because it's not layering properly on top of the powder and that's okay. That just tells you that don't use it on top of the powder. Use the liquid first. But a lot of these products that are coming out, you guys, they're, they're doing the powder and you can put the liquid on top and it still blends out nicely. Mm, it's blending. It's just not probably, probably something I'll be doing with it. This looks more like it's a powder for the finish, you know, the finishing powder. Don't put anything else on top of it. That's what the wear test is for. That's what these videos are for. So you can see what it does. And this way you know when you go and buy it. Cat helped you. So it did still blend out. But like I said, it's not something I'll be doing. I'll, uh, I don't want to be really fighting with my makeup. Whenever you use a Danessa Myricks, this guy right here, this Vision Flush, her products are amazing. They're amazing. She doesn't know me. Okay, so I, have to, I don't have to, you know, boost her up. But she is an amazing artist. And she's an amazing beauty cosmetic creator and when you put her products just on your skin by itself they blend out in like seconds so for me to have to work with it that means just don't put it on top of the powder yeah we know now but it still looks good i'm so happy with it and this this sponge really wasn't meant for it either because look she just well doesn't look right i'm gonna put you down yeah you're gonna stay there for a minute so she just wasn't meant for that but you just get your brush this is a nice uh, Morphe brush by the Morphe by Ariel collab. And this one is A32. So this is a nice uh, for like getting your contour, getting your bronzer, and also for your blush. So she's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Morphe by Ariel. In case you guys don't know who Ariel is, Ariel, he does uh, Kylie Jenner's makeup. Yeah. He's somebody. All right. So we got that going. Now, now we look a little bit more put together, okay? We did a little something for you. Now we're gonna go in with the nice setting spray, okay? And again, this is called the Refresh right here. And she says, ultimate firming and setting spray. All right, no, not firming. No, my eyes failed me. Ultimate priming, priming, not firming. I wish you'd firm, but it's just, it's in my own head. Okay, here we go, you guys. Oh, you know what, let's see, how does she work? Well, not yet, come on. 
Come on, guy. Spit it out. There we go. That's not bad. That's a pretty nice mist. Don't make me choke, I swear. Here we go. It's very, very light, so you barely feel it going on. Did it even get on there? Well, my face looks wet, so yeah, I guess it did. It feels very, let me look, it's very light. It's like perfume. So that's pretty cool. It has no scent that I can tell. Again, I'm a little sick. I know, I've been sick for months, so I can't really smell so well. But to me, it doesn't have a scent. Normally, you can tell when they have a scent because they hit you, bam, like a truck in the face. Or like the skunk outside. Bam, you know, like that. So this doesn't have a scent to it, so I appreciate it. And it did look, it did kind of leave a nice little glow on there. Yeah, we're looking okay. I mean, I think it looks good. So far, Haley's Beauty, I'm having an okay time with it. I just need to not, uh, not go on top of the powder with liquid blush. But we all know this now, okay? That's what we're here for. So my review on this is the concealer looked really good. It didn't seem too heavy. It didn't feel cakey. And the, uh, the tip on it, it just feels weird saying the tip on it. Just feels weird. But the tip on it <laughs> is nice and cooling. So it's very cooling and it feels very good under the eyes. So I do appreciate that. My eyes appreciate it. And then the next thing, which was our sponge guy right here. Thank you, Nelly. Uh, the sponge guy, he did a good job, you know, doing a little tap tapping, you know, tapping it out. He didn't do a good job with, as you as you can see, he didn't do a good job getting out the, uh, the, the blush, the liquid blush, but he did great tapping out the concealer. So it's probably gonna be good for your foundation and everything else, and probably just not good at tapping it out with powder on. And then the powder itself, where did I put you? I lost you already. So fast I lose things. The powder itself, the, uh, hold it right, cat. The retouch right here, it does feel good. It feels nice. After the setting spray, you can't even tell I have powder on. So it'll just lock, lock it in place and help you wear it all day long, okay? All right. And did we try anybody else? Oh, the setting spray guy. And he's called Refresh, not setting spray. He's called Refresh. Call him by his name. That's what it's there for. But yeah, it did feel good. So I have no complaints. Now I am waiting to see if they put their, their foundation back out there. I was trying to wait, you know, to do this for when they did put their foundation out there, but I don't know where it is. Do you guys know where it is? Have you seen it on their site? I haven't seen it. I know they took it away, but they haven't brought it back. So what's the girl to do? I just go on with the show. All right. Hope you guys like it. There's our little wear test. Well, it's not a wear test. There's our try on. And I will wear this a few days, you know, probably the next few days while I'm at work and see how, you know, how it lasts. See if the setting spray actually does make it last longer like it should. It's a primer and a setter. So it does both. And uh, we'll see if it's worth, you know, the money. It's not very expensive. It's a pretty reasonable brand. So that's another good thing. That's another A plus stars. You know, I have a, pretend I have a little chart here. A plus. Okay. All right. My skin looks good. Thank you, Carrie. I think you can thank this right here because after I did spritz it, it gave me some life. It really did. It gave me a little bit of life. And the uh, Danessa Myricks does a really good job with some nice color. So I have, I have some life and I have some color. That's always good, right? That's good. All right, you guys. Thank y'all so much for coming in. Sorry that I had a little coughing debacle. It's, it's the air in here. Uh, it's the air and it's the hair. Air and hair from the animals that don't like me. As a matter of fact... I'm gonna tell you about that. I save all the animals that we have here from, from death, from somewhere else, you know? Someone's gonna kill them out somewhere else. I bring them to my home and they don't like me. What's wrong with this picture? I saved you and you don't like me, but you come in my room and you shed everywhere and you make me cough while I'm live? Come on, where's the love, you know? Like give and take, the animals don't care. Anyway, that's my sad story about my my little animals, not my dogs. My dogs are amazing. My cats are the ones that are just, they're not loving. That's all I'm going to say. But this cat is loving. So did you guys check out my video that I put up yesterday? I hope you did. Did you watch the Meflix? If you haven't watched the Meflix, where have you been? I'm not going to scold you. But I'm just asking, where have you been? It came up yesterday. It's fun. It's about the last kingdom. I did a great Viking look. Did y'all not see it? I'm hurt. In here. You're treating me like the cats do. Stop it. Go watch that video, okay? Let me know how y'all like it. Jessica, you're behind the videos. You're sick too, Jessica. It's it's in the air, girl. I've had a throat infection for like eight days already. It's just never ending. Every little thing bothers me. My head, everything. So yeah, it's going in the air. 
I hope you feel better, Jessica. But anyhow, um, you guys have a great night. If you haven't seen my meme flicks from last night, please go watch it. I really and truthfully uh, would love your opinion. For two weeks, Jessica, oh my goodness, girl, we're almost in the same boat. But I do want to see y'all's opinion on those videos because this way I know what you guys like to watch, okay? I got to pick your brain. I try. It's hard because you guys don't say anything. You guys are just like Fort Knox. You don't say anything. You keep it all to yourselves. Give me info. Let me know how y'all like the videos, okay? All right. Thank you. Give me suggestions too if you want some. Uh, or not if you want some, but I want some. Give me some suggestions, okay? Love you guys. Jessica, feel better. Nelly, Jocelyn, whoever else is here, thanks for coming in. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe not. But I was here today, okay? Hades Beauty. Work pretty good. Have a great night, guys. Bye. Bye, Jessica.